Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a timeless reading for you guys. I am also going to be sharing very important news throughout the reading, so please stay posted. I'm going to be using the Saudaburito Tarot, I think that's the name of it. How are you guys? I have been MIA for a hot minute there. <laughs> I've been focusing on the release of my new online course, which is part of the news that I want to share with you guys. And it's already up, it's available, so I'm gonna leave all of the links under this video. This is a great first um, like beginner journey towards the Major Arcana. I highly recommend it as a course that you can study at home, in your own time, in your own space, and watch the videos as many times as you need. It is designed for beginners, but if you already have experience, I think it will be a nice refresh too. But it's mainly for beginners, okay? Universe, please bring in the most relevant messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Seven of Swords. The World. I don't do reversals, guys, by the way. Four of Wands. The Moon. Wow, these are gorgeous illustrations. Wow. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Six of Cups. Knight of Swords. And the chariot. Okay, Pisces. The bottom of the deck, we've got the hermit. Let's see. You guys, thank you for joining me today, by the way. <laughs> okay, so the world is definitely calling on me now. Pisces, I feel like there is an important chapter of your life, a big one, that is coming to an end. But like a big one, big one, like 20 year cycle, 30 year cycle. For some of you guys that are younger, I feel like you're going to start a new phase of your life that is completely different to anything that you have experienced. It's going to be the first time that you experience life in this way. It's definitely a before and after situation here, Pisces. Incredibly positive all around. And very loving, very maternal as well. It's like you're going to be very honest about what stability means to you. And you're going to build a future unlike any other. Very you. <laughs> very um, authentic to your truth. Some of you guys are maybe entering a phase in which you're going to become homeowners or you're going to have a home for the first time, whether it's yours or rented or whatever. It's going to be your space that you can like make your own. Some of you guys are growing your empire from a little tiny thing into a big business with the help of others. Some of you guys are receiving powerful, selfless help from others, fair exchanges of energies, support, honest, authentic, like accountability from all involved. It's like you're developing certain connections, Pisces, that are gonna go with you into the future and are gonna help you build this stability. Maybe they have already been helping you um, find stability in your life. Let me see if you can see the cards better here. So this these relationships here are going to be key. And now it's like you're not having a bunch of relationships, but the ones that you're having are really helping you with your stability. I feel like you have gone through... A moment of peace and calm that has organized your thoughts 
to a certain extent and has allowed you to see what needs to go and what needs to stay. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person or a Cancer. Some of you guys are letting someone go and it may be painful. You know, it, you may you may know that this is what you need to do but it still brings in a lot of a sense of like nostalgia and love and cuteness and soft mushy feelings for this person that you're leaving behind and what i'm hearing is maybe you're not leaving them behind for good you know maybe the future may hold something um for the both of you if that's what's you know supposed to happen and that is something that you want but for now pisces just for now i mean many of you are going to say forever you know but there are some of you who are actually very um, connected to a person, this could be a soulmate, someone who you feel is very loving, very sweet, someone who you really connect to. Now, if the love was enough, the connection would be. But then there's some things here that are just not really working out and it seems like for whatever reason, it's time to walk away. And maybe you don't even know the whole truth. Maybe you don't even know exactly what's going on. But the way things are flowing is that they're flowing towards kind of like a separation. All right. Um, now, it doesn't have to be permanent. It may come back in the future when things are sort of like more aligned. But what I feel here, Pisces, is that this person that you're dealing with, if you are dealing with someone that this resonates with, they need to be very honest with themselves and they haven't been ready. They haven't arrived at that point of their lives where they can stop lying to themselves. They have been lying to themselves and to you. And this has created within your mind this eight of swords. Doubts, insecurities, Questioning your reality, your perceptions, your actions, questioning their actions. And it's all because this person is like two-faced. They have a very loving, pure heart and soul. But at the same time, they haven't fully integrated themselves. They haven't fully accepted who they are and what they want. And therefore, there is like a whole side of them that you can't really access. So that's, that's where it becomes a little bit, you know, fuzzy and confusing. But what I'm getting here is that you can let go and trust that if you're meant to be, um, you're going to be. Also, I, I'm hearing this lyrics by Billie Eilish. I think that the song is called Watch. And it's like, if we, sh if we were supposed to be, we would have been by now or something like that. But I see chaos here. Like, I see that this person is not as centered. They're going through a lot, Pisces. And you know what? It's their right to go through this whole process. It's not their fault. You know, they're going through something that is helping them grow. The thing is, Pisces, you went through that so long ago. And maybe you're right now opening up to a new reality, one that is more expansive for you. Let's see. Let's do a Celtic cross here, Pisces. In the meantime, as I go ahead and shuffle the cards, I remind you guys that I'm gonna leave all the links for the online course under this video. This is level one out of level of out of three levels, maybe even four. And in this course, we go through the major arcana, which are the most important heavy cards of the tarot. When I mean heavy, I mean the most packed with information and purpose. We're also going to be covering how to clean your cards, how to shuffle your cards, how to set your intentions, how to protect your energy, how to um, do accurate readings, go through different spreads. It's going to be wonderful. 
I even have a challenge for you guys <laughs> within the course, which is cool. Messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Again, Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Crossed by Death. Two of Cups in the past. The Lovers in your mind. The Page of Swords in the future. Communication is coming, Pisces. That's what I'm hearing. Nine of Wands. Page of Wands. King of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. And the Four of Swords. Okay, Pisces. Communi communication is coming here for you guys. Um, this is definitely a love reading for the vast majority of you. Now, if this resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, make sure to check out my channel because I have tons of timeless readings for you guys. And you can, um, based on the title, just choose whichever one resonates. And no matter when it was filmed, it still applies, okay? So if this is not your reading, you can check out over there. And if this is your reading, I'm feeling like this is a love reading, for sure. Boy. Wow. <laughs> Sorry guys, I got interrupted. Um, as I was saying, this looks very much like a love reading to me. So in the past, for a while you had a connection with someone who was very transparent and very equal and equal give and take and very loving, supportive. You guys felt like best friends, maybe even like partners in crime, you know, you did everything together. Now, it seems though that this very loving sweet two of cups energy, it may have kind of like shifted a bit gotten a little bit more into codependency at some point into this like victim and rescuer dynamic that made you guys kind of like be very attached to each other in a way that perhaps is not really healthy so that's where it started to get a little um strange here there's a definite energetic entanglement here with the lovers um, and you're both actually you're both thinking about this at this time you're both thinking should we be together? Should we move on? Should we break up? What needs to happen? Like you're both keeping that in your thoughts. Um, maybe that person is more invested right now or maybe you are. There's someone who's more in to their relationship and someone that's actually just kind of like whatever. Um, the death card is a challenge here. So I think both of you are having a challenge with really putting this behind. I feel like both of you, just to the thought of really moving on and really just having this end forever, that thought is very scary for both of you. In different ways, perhaps, but it is it is definitely not something that you're excited about or they're excited about. It's actually something that you have to kind of like overcome. <sighs> What the universe wants you to know, it's the Nine of Wands. So this is a card of actually not giving up. This is a card of pushing through, making things work. So I think that if you wanted to, the, the communication is coming here for you. So this person might reach out to you. It could be a Gemini. This person is going to come back and talk to you. Some of you guys could be dealing with a third party situation in which maybe they're kind of like involved with the Scorpio as well. But that doesn't apply for all of you. Now, the communication is going to be coming in. They are kind of like spying on you, keeping tabs on you, nothing major, but they're, they're paying attention to you. Maybe on social media, stuff like that. And they're noticing that you are transforming more and more into yourself. You're becoming more passionate, more adventurous, more, more excited. There's new things in your life that you're looking forward to. And this makes them kind of wonder if they did the right thing or if um, separating your past is the right choice. Now, in your environment, uh, we see a king of pentacles. So in your environment, there's a lot of abundance. There's a lot of mastery over the physical realm. 
maybe there are people around you, um, Capricorns, Virgos, Taurus, that could be helping you with wishes that you have, manifest wishes that you have. But mostly I feel like there's an energy of abundance that's surrounding you in the physical realm. Now, your hopes and fears, we have the Eight of Wands. Pisces, you want things to move quickly. You want things to move effortlessly, fast, successfully into the future. And maybe, maybe in the past you wanted things to go a little bit faster than they needed to be with this person. Maybe in the past you were trying to rush things. Or maybe they were. And now it's like... Your perspective is different about this whole thing. It's like you are kind of like at peace with whatever happens, Pisces. And so are they. Like, they're not ready to let go completely. They do think about you a lot. They want to try to make it work. But it's not from a sense of urgency and codependency. It's like from a sense of calm, peace, and tranquility. So, you know, Pisces, obviously this is going to be different for every one of you guys. So, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest. But for those of you who this section of the reading uh, resonated with, maybe you could give it another try. Maybe you could, because we have the Nine of Wands here. This is the Don't You Dare Giving Up card. <laughs> so, you know, there might be something there still for you, Pisces. But it all depends on this conversation that is going to be coming in, in the future. How you feel, how they feel. I feel like you're going to have to untangle the whole situation together. I think Pisces that you don't know exactly how you feel about this. I, f I think that they don't feel, they don't know exactly how they feel about this. So it's like you're going to have to talk and just be like, well, we don't really know what's going on. Let's just talk about it and see how, I don't know, see what, what comes up. So it's good. It's good. Let's see if there's other messages for other Pisces coming through. I missed you guys. <laughs> it's crazy. It's just like, it's been like two days or three days or something. And I've been working tires, tirelessly or whatever on the online course. So I just, I don't know. I didn't feel like in the right energy to be doing the readings, honestly. And now that it is available, I just, I feel like I can, I can take a breather and go back to the readings, which I love to do so much. I'm also super excited to share it with you. Please guys, if any of you enroll, tell me what you think. I hope that you enjoy it. <sighs> Past, present, and future for Pisces. Past, the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so everything that has happened with this person or separately from the situation. This could be about something completely different. Everything that has happened in your life up to this point, Pisces, especially recently, is divinely guided. Okay? This is destiny. This is you receiving all of the blessings that were owed to you, to a certain extent, um, by the universe. And what I mean owed, these are things that maybe you deserve and they never came in. There was maybe interference for some of you, but now there isn't any. Now things are coming in as they should. Guys, I apologize for the noise of the TV. I forgot to close the door. <laughs> I hope it's not something that is distracting. Now, in the present, you've got the Emperor. Pisces, you're the boss right now. You are right now in a very masculine energy making things happen in the physical very connected to your abundance prosperity work career you're above all the kings you're making things happen pisces and in the future we've got the lovers again gemini energy and if you see this illustration they are hugged as tightly as they can and they're entangled with this red um cord I bet that many of you have actually heard about the red string that connects soulmates, but I'm not going to go deep into that. Um, what I'm actually getting here is that you guys are going to both have to detangle de yourself, untangle yourself um, from each other through this conversation. And when I mean from each other, I don't mean going separate ways necessarily, not all of you, 
um, but just kind of like making sense of the whole thing. Now, if you didn't resonate with the previous part of the reading, but you resonate with this, this could be new love coming in. But there's a big message here, like, I'm hearing not new, <laughs> not new. Um, this could be a past life or a past lover. Where it's very unlikely that it's going to be brand new. Because you can see this card and you can see all the history here. <laughs> There's been, you know, a very deep connection between both energies in the past. So let's see how this unfolds, my beautiful Pisces. I hope that this resonates for you. I'm going to be also doing another reading tomorrow morning. And I'm going to try to stick to the daily schedule from that point on. I want to thank you guys for being a part of the Pisces Club. If you are not a part of the Pisces Club, I invite you to be a part of the Pisces Club. You can click on that subscribe button, or if you ever feel like donating, there's a PayPal link under this video and a join button next to the subscribe one where you can donate. And guys, please check out the level one tarot magic course. I'm so excited. I think that you guys are going to love it. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. And if by any chance you have any doubts, questions about how to sign up or if this course is the right one for you, write to us at awakenedwildchild at gmail.com. That would be awakenedwildchild at gmail.com. Dorsa is going to be there asking all, answering all of your questions. Um, so go ahead and write. Even if you don't know if you're going to participate, that's perfectly fine. Um, if you have any previous questions, ask her. If you have any um, sign-up questions, web page confusions, whatever, just write to that email at any time, alright? I love you, my fishies. Bye-bye.